Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC coming today with another 4 minute fix. If you're new to my channel, 4 minute fixes we take um, something, whatever it is that we're looking at today and I give you all the things that you need to know about it in 4 minutes. It's a bit of a challenge for myself and also it just gives you a nice condensed video. So today we are looking at the um, Bean Gen 2 which is a knife produced by Black Fox and is designed by the master bladesmith himself Serge Panchenko. As I say if you, if you are new to these we'll go into this now if you're back again then that's great you know I've hope hopefully you'll have hit that subscribe button um, if you're not then don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like this content as we're going through it then please feel free to hit that like button as well so, as always, I'm going to start my four minutes and I'll start it now. Today's video is sponsored, of course, by Seiko. So, we have the Black Fox Bean Gen 2. So, this is the second version of this. So there were a few alterations made over the first version. The blade itself, if we go through some dimensions, when it, the blade length is... Um, 5.3 let's get my trusty ruler out the blade length is 5.3 centimeters which in inches is just short of two inches the thickness of the blade it's actually quite a nice thick blade itself if you, if you can see that so the thickness of the blade is 2.3 millimeters which in inches is probably about an eighth of an inch um, the overall length when it is closed <clears throat> in centimetres is, as you can see there, it's 7.8 centimetres, which in inches is just short of 3 inches. When it's completely open, um, in centimetres is exactly 13 centimetres, and in inches is just over five inches so that's what you get as far as measurements concerned weight wise it's got it's got actually it's got a little bit of heft to it it's quite a nice knife that you know that it's constantly in your pocket I mean it's not overly heavy but you know you definitely feel that it's there it's constructed from oh sorry the weight itself um, is oh where are my notes it's 59 grams so constructions wise, um, you have the knife itself which is made from 440C stainless steel. Now I'm not exactly what you'd call a steel smith, I know a little bit about steels. You generally find that 440 is a well respected steel, you know it keeps its blade, it, it holds an edge quite well and it's, it's reasonably easy to put an edge back on there if, if you need to. Um, and because of the fact that it's stainless steel, then you know there's there's less kind of wear and tear, or at least there's less maintenance that you have to do to the steel itself. The um, the the geometry of the blade is a, a sheep's foot. It has a slight hollow grind, um, and it also has a um, a brushed finish to the steel. On one of the uh, scales you have a different a different piece of material now this is the zebra wood version there's also a g10 version and there is a steel version as well i went for this one because i've thought this zebra wood is really nice and also if you can see here if i can get that in the light there's also the black fox uh, little logo as well on the back you do have a spring detent in the uh, the back scale. It is a slip joint, so it opens really easily, closes with a nice positive lock at the end, and when it opens, the detent in there also gives it a nice positive lock as well. And then it has a, uh, a black fox clip on the back here too. Now generally I take this off um, only because when you sit it down as you know it, it's, it's always going to have a little bit of a rock um, but from time to time you know I, I put it on just for this video and thought you know I'll, I'll, I'll put it on and hold it with it on there for, for a few days um, and yeah do you know what? it's it's a really nice little knife it fits perfectly in the pocket and when you are not recently that I've been talking a lot more about kind of minimal carries and different sort of things. Oh, 
Ooh, I think I was pretty much bang on four minutes then. So there we go. There's my four minute fix. Now, is there anything that I've missed? No, it, I think really it was just coming down to that last little bit about um, minimal carry. So, I mean, if you've, if you've got a nice little minimal carry where you've got, I don't know, a Fisher Space Pen, um, the Armour Wallet from Armour Wallets and, and this, you know, it, it really does look great with a, with a nice little minimal carry. The last little thing that I didn't mention is the, the actual thickness. So without the clip, if you're just looking from side, from scale to scale, um, in centimetres, it's just roughly one centimetre, and in inches, that's... God, I'm useless with inches. That's... Six sixteenths or three eighths? Uh, yeah, six sixteenths is three eighths. God, that was terrible maths. Um, but yes, so there you go. That is the Bean Gen Two from Black Fox that was that is designed by Serge Panchenko. Actually, a little extra thing to add to this. So this is the. Um, I mean, you have to with the little thumb. Uh, recession there you can open it single-handedly um, if you have a look on Serge Panten Panchenko's site himself what they have is they call it the bean flicker and what it does is where you have um, the, the the pivot here there's an extra little bit uh, that, that comes out like a, a, a tang that you would have on a friction folder that you can that you can flick and it, it deploys like that they're really nice oh I forgot what I did forget to mention is these have um, copper bushes uh, which again make that make that you know super smooth so there you go i hope you liked this video as i say it was just another four minute fix i've not done a knife review in a while um if you like this type of video then don't forget to hit that like button if you'd like to subscribe for more content in the future i try to release a video every single week so hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the uh, the bell icon Great. Hope you have a nice day. It's currently raining a lot here. We've just been hit by Hurricane uh, Kia, Kyra, however it's pronounced. So it's it's pretty crappy outside. So I hope wherever you are in the world that it's nice and sunny. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay DC.